Well, hello and welcome to the Gage Look, and we're actually doing a little bit of a live stream today, just a short one. I'm going to start a new Total War Warhammer campaign today, and it's a very unlikely one for us. It is indeed the Beastmen. Now, to set the scene here, we are using Radius mod, and we're using one of the sub mods. Well, we're using pretty much all the Radius mods actually, and one of the sub mods in particular which is, I believe it's called Horde Reborn. I will link it when I add the videos. I'll s segment up these live streams a little bit and I'll add the videos for you. And I'll add the description. Horde Reborn basically allows you to play as a horde but also settle factions properly. Now, there is other mods that do that, but what this actually lets you do is sort of carry on as the horde as well. And I love that. It's a little bit vampire coasty. Okay, now, as we all know, I'm not that great at this game, so you're going to have to bear with me whilst we um, play this, I think, because I'm not confident in my capability in winning as the Beastmen. I think the idea, by the way, for the campaign victory will be to wipe out the lands of Maine. So for the purposes of what we're talking about, we're not including Norska, and we're not including their colonies, so we're basically talking this, the old world. Tilia, Border Princes, Britonia, Empire, Kislev, Stalia, of course. And that is going to be our campaign objective. Exactly what I thought. Okay, recruit, recruit. Got research. I can't remember how research works for these guys. I know research gets slower. What do we want? Now, of course, because it's the Radius mod we're using, we're going to have lots and lots of extra units to play with. Let's go for casualty replenishment rate. We can't see them yet, but there's obviously best of guards, everything like that. Okay, let's have a wee play then, shall we? Now, I've tried to tweak some of the settings. I was on Ultra and everything, but I was getting some real frame starters. So I'm hoping that I've tweaked it just a little bit. I've come that down to 1080p resolution as well, so hopefully we'll get, I mean the end turns probably won't improve, but hopefully some of the battle lag will improve. It's been a long time since I've streamed. Reason for that is I have a new baby, so time is of the essence now, however I do have a spare hour or two, I have to, to wake her up later, so that is going to be my job later. Not just to wake her up, to, to look after her. <laughs> I'm on UK time, if anybody's wondering. Should I just go straight for the kill? I only have Minotaurs though, as... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, you know. It's been so long since I've played as Beastmen. Probably Chaos would have been the better pick here. For the Horde Reborn. But... I don't know, Chaos are just always a bit meh for me, in my opinion. Okay, so we've got a mission issued, add a new legendary lord to the... Okay. Alright, okay, mission issued. Raise Talbaheim and we get that. Seems pretty fair. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll actually put it under siege with this army. Honestly, I could probably take them. Kazarak is a, a pretty beastly guy. We don't have any bestigors or anything now, which is the problem. But now, of course, you're not going to get anywhere in one turn. So let's, let's just attack. Bugger it. We can always start again if we lose. Hey, Infused. How you doing, buddy? I don't think... Have I ever caught you on a live stream before? Yeah, we're just going to attack. Bugger it. Why can't I fight? Ah, oh, I can't fight the battle. Shit. Are they not classed as siege attackers? God damn it. 
Right, just stay there then. So we're just going to attack next turn. So infused, and for the other couple of viewers, what we're playing is radius mod, but we're using a particular sub mod called Hordes Reborn, which adds lots of extra capability for Hordes, in particular being able to properly set off factions. Hi Lyle, how you doing? Now I usually um, stream on Twitch Infused, however, because of the, the new little one in my life, I have done almost no streaming for a few months now, but I have a wee bit of time tonight, so I thought I need to start this new playthrough with the Beastmen to show off the Hordes Reborn mod for Radius. I thought, let's just have a wee stream tonight. I'm hoping I don't lose very early on. Ah, we can take them. Let's fight the battle. I'm very good, Lyle. Thank you. Just kicking off this campaign with the Beastmen to rid the, the world of humanity and to look at the Horde Reborn mod. I think we're just going to charge. Let's put all the crappy guys on the wall and we'll get the gore herd through the gates with the Minotaurs. Yeah, thanks Infused. She's just coming up for uh, four months old. I'm on changing duties in about an hour and a half, which is why I thought I should stream just now. Not a very beastman thing to do. Change nappies, I suppose. <laughs> right. Ah, shit. Right, you don't need that. You guys just charge at the wall. You get over there in the corner. You get in there. Come on. Come on, Kazrak. Goreherd can come through there. You guys can come up on the walls there. I bet I end up losing this bloody battle, you know. Okay, Minotaurs, we need you as well. At least the Beastmen units are fairly fast. Didn't I tell you to get on the walls? Sure I did. Does Kazrak have anything at the moment? Oh shit, come on Kazrak. How's the audio anyway infused? Everything sound okay at the moment? Get in there. Come on, Minotaurs. Blood greed. Well, that's pretty effective, actually. Where's Kazra? Okay, so this is going to be similar to a vampire battle, I think, a lot of these battles. Cheers. We are going to try and get over the walls, or fly into the walls. We don't have as good flying units, of course. Arguably better monstrous infantry, though. I love the Minotaur animation. Minotaur, depending on who you speak to. You guys getting over? No, 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 no. Fire into them, come on. Okay, we're winning this pretty soundly, I think. Lupio Sunscryer. 
Can you just kill him, please? They've only got one set of cavalry. I don't think that's going to do much damage to us. Come on, Minotaurs, do some work. Come on, Gore Herd. Okay, we're doing pretty well on the wall, actually. I thought we wouldn't hold up very well. I was mistaken. Are you over yet? Why can't I select you? Come on, get on the ground. Let's just do some damage here. I think it was probably the archers that did the work here. The raiders, anyway. Pretty pitiful raiders, really. But they seem to be doing work. Oh, we need some rear charging here. Get in the back of them there. Get you on the wall as well, please. Yeah, it's 6 out of 7th, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Lizard Men Skaven DLC, as you've mentioned before, but definitely looking forward to it. And you're right, I'm going to do the Krupgar campaign again. Or maybe. We'll see who the other one is. I do like my skinks. How are you dying to a little general guy? You're attacking other people, aren't you? God damn it. Okay, we've taken the gates. You just keep killing everyone in there, please. I'm really surprised how well these beastmen are doing. Kill the general, come on. You stay on him. Okay, you lot come in here. Guys, rack. Minotaurs. Let's go. Let's go, raiders. You're done in here as well, so you can just go straight after them, please. Kazrak, get into the centre as well. The Lord is down. Come on. Where are you guys? Let's see if we can get past them and get into the rear of them. Yeah, Skink Moses could be a very uh, fun campaign, I think. Although I am intrigued to know what Skaven are going to come through as well. Keep coming lads, keep coming. Pretty good work here. Hey, Synthetic. Yeah, just getting a sneaky stream in. I've got about an hour left where I've got a little bit of spare time. Time is not something I have a lot of anymore. <laughs> for good reasons, though. For good reasons. This isn't your mod, is it, Synthetic? Board Reborn? I have a new button now, you know. It says play ad. I must be monetized for streaming now. How fun. And of course, people who are watching this on the playlist, of course, we're live streaming this as well, so you can see the chat messages, hopefully. Okay. Question is, do we occupy our first settlement? 
Let's hope the mod works, eh? So, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, the person who made the the mod that we're playing, not just the Radius mod, but the specific Horde Reborn mod, is in the chat. Synthetic Man, hello. And apologies, I know face uh, for live stream. I don't have my green screen set up and it's a little bit dark at the moment. Maybe in the next live stream you can see my wonderful face again. Still nice and slow. Come on. So we lost about 400 units. Which is not bad at all. Considering the quality of our units. <laughs> there was a little bit of an intro infused, but I will let Synthetic answer. Wait, what? I don't... F <laughs> okay, yeah. There we go. We have an actual settlement. Can you believe it? An actual settlement. Okay, Kazrak, who the hell are you? Count Noctilus is here. How did you get here in three turns? Jesus. Okay. Voice of the Dark Gods, Vigorless Reduction. Less by Evil, sure. Oh, yeah, you can't recruit whilst you're in a settlement, can you? That's not a problem. Okay, same turn. Settlement for Hordes, indeed. Settlement for hordes that actually work as well. There has been a few mods like that. Why are you here, Noctilus? What are you doing here? Yeah, I think it opens up quite a few possibilities, especially with the chaos, the fact that you can occupy settlements, because chaos kind of suck in the base game. Hordes in general kind of suck in my opinion, actually. I like the Beastmen. I'm not a huge chaos fan, but uh, it could be a funny campaign, this, actually. I'm going to wipe out the lands of men, so Bretonia, Empire, Tilia, Stalia, Kislev, and the Border Princes is the aim. They're original provinces, not if they've expanded any further. And that is going to be the goal of this campaign. Okay, Kazrak. Beastman ambush. Okay, you stay there just now in Margrita. Margrita. Ah, okay, so you can do the normal one. Makes sense. We'll just leave here just now. Although we'll almost definitely have problems, I suppose. Okay, let's go. No horde recruitment. But you'll be able to standard settlement recruitment. Ah, that's good. I don't mind that you can't recruit within the settlement anyway, to be honest. I like the rosters, but the horde gameplay is fairly boring. Yeah, I don't... <sighs> Hordes are just... They just suck, man, honestly. Oh, now does Sartosa count as the land of Maine anymore? I don't know if they do. I'm a little bit amused that Count Noctilus is already here. I'm going to have to try that out. 
I suppose you could get there in three turns. Seems a bit much though. Okay, so we'll wipe out the rest of Estalia, and then we'll probably just immediately go over to Tilia to get rid of them. We'll probably carve up into the border princes immediately as well. Bretonia is going to be a bit of a kettle of fish, so we'll have to build up our armies for that. And indeed, by the time we get to the Empire provinces, it could be more challenging. But that's fine. They'll be spin off pretty good units. I'd suggest that their best units don't latch up against any of the best units equivalent, but I don't mind. Okay, so we are going to get... Oh, now that's a hard question. I'm actually going to get a gore bowl just now. Probably not the right option. But I'm going to anyway. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a quick save. One thing I'd say synthetic is uh, I'm only using radius mods currently and the diplomatic options mod which I use everywhere. I do crash every so often. I did a little bit of a playthrough because I hadn't played the Beastman. I doubt it's anything to do with Hordes Reborn but there is a couple of crashes at the end of battles which is the painful part. Not too regular, maybe every 20, 30 of battles, something like that. It must be one of the the mods, but I can tell you what. Right, Gazrak, we're not really going to uh, do anything other than charge here, folks. Oh yeah, let's just uh, you can stay a bit further back. Hey, you guys can charge in. It's a shame you guys can't get out there. Painting your map is the best part, and you're right. It's a real disadvantage when you can't do that. Come on, beast men. Come on, Kazrak. Take out those crossbowmen quickly. Oh, that's a decent, decent side charge there, actually. You chase down them, um, you get in there. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's always when I use that. I use a mixture of the radius mods. On this one, I have pretty much every sub mod. It could just be the base game, I suppose. I very rarely play vanilla to compare it against, so. Honestly, no, it's it's only like 1 in 30 battles or so, so I'm, I'm really not too fussed. I quick save every time now. Well, not the world's best tactician, this um, Border Prince... No, the Stallion guy. Where are my men? Oh, oh, oops. I think I deployed you wrong. That's right, get in there, please. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Synthetic. I think both. But don't quote me on that. Okay, that's the battle done, so let's just speed it up. Come on, let's get after them. Come on. <laughs> Catch these little bastards. That's it. Are we done yet? There we go. Two settlements down. Our horde stroke civilized nation is growing. Kazrak is uh, an attractive 
beastman really, isn't he? More of a minotaur than a beastman in many ways. <laughs> so I think we're honestly going to go straight to Tilia. We might not be able to attack the settlement straight away, but we can maybe go and raid. Maybe go to the smaller settlement actually first. Then move up to Tilia itself. I think I'll ignore Sartosa just now. I'm not sure if that classifies as a land domain. Maybe. Maybe. It's difficult to tell. Um, in vanilla, I would say they've probably got one of the strongest... Yeah, I'd say they probably do in vanilla. Not so much in radius, I'd say. Um, I like the Beastman, though. I, I, I don't really focus too much. It's... On individual strengths of well no I do focus a lot on individual strength of the faction but I don't mind if some of them the only thing that bothers me or did bother me uh, radius is more or less fixed it now was um, that some of the dwarf heavy infantry didn't stack up very well against other heavy infantry in the game now there is a few that he shouldn't stack up against but not many but that is not the case anymore so that is very nice a squalid encampment you can get in there, Tabaro. Fueled by blood. Voice of the Dark Gods. That's pretty good, actually. Figure loss reduction. Cannot believe the Dreadfeet is there already. Ridiculous. Okay, end turn. I wonder how Estalia and Atelier are going to be if there are dogs of war. The area is going to be jam-packed with legendary lords. I I think that's great though, because uh, you know you know what's great about jam-packing an area. Uh, you're after me, aren't you? Shit. With um, lots of legendary lords, is you never know what's good. The game's going to be like at the moment. It's generally fairly predictable. So if they add in more legendary lords into a smaller area, I think that'd be great. It's probably, I can only presume, more likely that it's going to be even more random. Could be wrong, though. I don't know what Count Noctilus is doing here, though. Bugger off, would you? Maybe I should go back with um, Kazrak here. God damn it. Can't have you. He's got a bloody necroflex, doesn't he? It's not Netflix. The make make warrior things. Tyrants of the Black Queen. Ah, oh, four skill points a bit much for me. <laughs> Two skill points is fine. No offense. I can see why you'd want it. I appreciate you though, don't worry. Yeah, very true. Maybe not. Well, I mean, Beastmen, if you look at the old Warhammer games, Beastmen were more or less anywhere there was a forest. So I think you could probably get away. I mean, they do make things up now, which is good, by the way, because obviously Warhammer, this Warhammer is over. So I think it's great that they're making stuff up now. Okay. So it's clear that Noctilus is going to attack me. I wonder how I'll stand up against his army, you know. Yeah, I'd like another beastman start position in Lustria, I think. I think that could be pretty fun, actually. Skaven and Lizardmen. Although Lizardmen could be difficult. If you let them get too strong, I suppose. 
Endless Herd, The Dark Moon, Horde Growth, Campaign All Must Fight. Oh, this is really bad. Horde Growth minus 15. I'm going to go for that. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay. I'm going to have to fight you. It's going to be a bit of a hellish battle, though. The Dread Fleet. I've managed to ambush him. Sweet. They have one depth guard. They have the necro. It is necrofix. I have a gore bull now, though. Is the gore bull anti large? It is. So you're going to have to go for the necrofix. I'm counting Optimus himself. Okay, it's going to be some battle. <laughs> 